Hello and welcome to the workshop. Uh, we're underway with season two of the show. We're very busy, although I've taken time out just to show you around. Um, don't be too disappointed. If you saw the first series, and I hope you did, um, things haven't moved on that far. This is the upper mezzanine. My vision for this is a kind of posh client area. There's gonna be a posh bathroom in here, mostly because, put it this way, we need another bathroom, the one downstairs I'm gonna leave for the lads to use. Then there's gonna be a beautiful room in here with chairs and pictures where I can remove people's money eventually. I haven't yet made any more of my beautiful rails. My plan is possibly this weekend I'm going to sneak in and build another few of these to go down there. Also, I'm going to put some stairs in here. I'm going to get down rather inelegantly. Ah, that's not the best solution to that. This, this is my vision, this is going to be storage but racked and not for storing camera equipment. We're getting set up to make the second series of the show so that's all there gubbins, that will all be put out of the way. This will be racked out one day for storing things like this, car parts. That's off an Alvis that we are restoring right now. My worry is somebody comes in to visit and sees bits of their car like that. That's not too impressive. Ideally, I want big racks all the way along there to store all the parts on and then like a wall in front of them so it's all tucked away neatly. Then this can be like a viewing communal sitting area. These are just some people who work on the show. I don't know. I don't or thieves or something messing about playing with their cameras. Have you got the instructions? Congratulations on purchasing your. Read them. Um, now, it may not look finished out there on the mezzanine and for the communal and visitor areas, but my top spec executive office isn't finished either. Come on in. Yeah, that's, the door doesn't open because there's a load of shelving from a certain Swedish manufacturer of flat pack furniture that I haven't yet put up. It isn't there yet. Um, you will see this improve as the series goes along. There are some things to talk you through. These are some old plastic chairs I found at home. That's the visitor's chair. They sit there and they discuss things with me here behind my executive desk. My executive desk the honest truth is I found it in Hadrian's workshop, my next door neighbour. Um, it is, it turns out, the top from um, a school lab desk, hence it's still got the taps for the Bunsen burners on. They're not connected to the gas. The bottom of the desk is actually a desk from home, the top of which should be a large piece of safety glass, but I lost it. I don't know how you lose a piece of glass six foot by three foot, but I did. Um, so this will do for now. It'll have shelving around it. I'm hoping as the series progresses with interesting books and literature pertaining to classic cars and possibly, I don't know, sculpture and things of interest. This bit, this worktop we put in when we built the workshop, I'll be honest, I had it put there because we had it left over from doing downstairs. Mindy, my wife, came in, took one look and said, that has got to go, it's disgusting. The main problem with it is we put it in at worktop height, which doesn't work as a desk. So the awful truth is this is all going to have to go as well and be replaced with something. Basically, there's an awful lot to do in here. Um, we are underway with the second series, just early days getting going. Um, as the series progresses, hopefully you'll see this room and the luxury visitors accommodation on the top mezzanine being built and improving and hopefully the work will come in and keep the guys busy and we'll make this business work because the one thing I can't stress enough, this is a real business. I really did have to sell my cars to buy all the clobber out there and I've now got to justify it by making all of that kit not just earn its keep, ideally one day pay me back for all the cars I had to sell to build it. By the time you're watching this, the first episode or two of season two of the workshop will be out on Discovery Plus. I very much hope you'll follow the link thing and watch it and enjoy it and look out for the differences between this now and hopefully this by then. It's funny, it's like traveling in time, isn't it? I'm talking to you in the future and hopefully in the future this is just magnificent. Hello, it is six months later and well, as you shall see, I, I like to not only deliver on a promise, but also not 
over deliver. So um, looking around this magnificent, sp I haven't had a lot of time. I've been really busy. We've had cars going through. This, this is this is very much still here. Um, the shelves have gone up. They've, they've within thirty seconds filled with shelf tat. I don't know where any of that came from. I kid you not. I put the shelves up. They were in boxes over there. You saw them. And, and then some tat arrived and displayed itself on them. The desk is still here. Big improvement. We've got pictures. Lots of them. I haven't put any of them on the wall yet. So that would be, I think, a step too far. Um, but they're here. There's also over here, waiting to go on the wall. This is where all the boxes and rubbish were. That. Oh, there's more pictures, see? Um, yeah, that's, I, I made those louvres at the Morgan factory on their louvre making machine. And this is signed by all the people who built my Morgan. Since which my Morgan got written off in a flood. So I don't have the car, but I do have that. And one day I'll put that on the wall. But I haven't, um, haven't done it yet. Other than that, it's, I've gone for homely, shabby, shabby, not shabby chic, just shabby, really. Um, there's some files, cups. Um, <laughs> look, if this was an immaculate space, that suggests I've got time to spend organising it. And I haven't because I spend my time looking out here to check that they're doing stuff. They're not doing stuff. Right, that's in here, your six monthly update. Let me now take you out here where there has been progress. I've done rather better further out. Um, Finally managed to get my racking and storage in here for all the parts. When a car is torn down out there, the bits and pieces go on shelves in there. That's cool. Over there, I'm not going to take you in, is my new executive bathroom, where overalls are banned. That's basically it. Anybody wearing overalls can't use that bathroom. Then we can go up here. Note, there are stairs, this ingenious device for raising you corporally from one level to another via steps. This. This was going to be my posh meeting area for clients um, to come and discuss their requirements. And then uh, Drive Tribe, you lot, nicked it. But <laughs> this was going to be my posh office space. These sofas were mine and this table. I put them in here and I thought, brilliant, clients can arrive, we can discuss their requirements in here. But no, um, it's become the Drive Tribe studio. So you'll see us when people come in for uh, their COG score with their car. Influencers come in, this is where we sit and chat, this is where we do interviews, and where the rest of the drive drivers sit about and read car magazines and, uh, and talk, talk that that rhymes with Rolex. And then the other space we have in my luxurious upper mezzanine executive office suite, this is where, <laughs> oh my God, this room was going to be like a conference room where we could have conferences, but instead this was hijacked by Chimp, which is the production company that makes the show about the workshop. Um, so <laughs> they just nicked it. So as you can see, it's got cameras and microphones and I don't know, all this tat and computers and all the gubbins and garbage. What it's really got is a load of empty coffee cups. Because that's mostly what they do, aren't they? Just drink coffee. Um, and talk about, oh, how should we get some motivation for the narrative thread through this piece? They do that in here. So, yeah, Chimp Production, Drive Tribe, they've nicked all of my spare office space. I'm still over there. Maybe in another six months, I'll give you another update, and it will be sumptuously appointed with button-back chairs and pictures on the wall and a nice oak hat, -hat stand. Don't hold a breath. Might not. And if you'd like to see the results of what these strangely not present television people have been making with all of this stuff here in the Smallest Cog Workshop, there is a link in the description so you can watch the show. Because it's live now. Go look. Oh.